Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Minecraft Survival Season 3. Salute. All right. Uh, this is just a little introductory to show you what I've got planned for today. I need to find the boundaries of my spawn point. Now, that is the monument where we spawned in, and I am trying to do some landscaping, but I don't want to landscape too much. I just basically want to landscape uh, the spawn area which is usually only about 256 square blocks so i just need to figure out 128 to 128 out from where i spawned and landscape the area because as everyone knows the spawn stays loaded regardless of where i am in the world especially if i want to go traveling that way to build a house and work with uh, uh guardian monument or that way for jungle. All right. Today I will uh, try to keep you updated if I can. If not, I'll be sure to come back and show you the progress. All right. Stay tuned. All right. Well, uh, not a whole lot of anything exciting happened. Uh, I did almost get blowed up by a creeper. He snuck up on me. You can kind of see the, uh, the creeper hole right there where I'm pointing with my sword. But anyway, all I really accomplished for this week was landscaping. All right. Uh, been lowering this mountain right here. And I've been lowering that mountain right there and lowering that mountain right there. This I'm going to keep. But this still has to go down a little bit. And this all has to go down a little bit. And all that has to go down a little bit. But i got to lower it in order to start building all my farms. Now, right there, in those corners, I've marked out a chunk. All right. From 00, 00 to 15, 00, 00 to 15. That is one chunk. So even though that monument is where I spawned, that chunk is where I want to center uh, my iron golem farm because I do want to build the iron golem farm right there, smack dab in the middle. Now, the good news is, let's go down here. We. Uh, we know that we want to stay within what's called the spawn chunk. The spawn chunk is the chunks, plural, that spawn in right as the world forms. Now, the world spawn is 256 blocks across by 256 blocks across. So, I did a little bit of math. And let's go out here and I'll show you what I did so I could stay reminded of where the world spawn is at. Now, the importance of a world spawn is anything that gets built inside the world spawn, all right, inside there, will continue to work regardless of where. I am anywhere else in the world. So this inside here will all stay loaded in memory even when I travel across country. All right, and I did not realize how big the world spawn actually was. Ooh, look. Pumpkins. I didn't know there were pumpkins over there. All right, so yeah, look how far we are from the village. All right, and the fence is like the fence is not to keep anyone out. The fence is not to keep anyone in. The fence is mainly just for me to keep track of where uh, the world spawn is, so that if I go to build a machine or a sorting system or a golem farm or an iron farm. Oh, these are my sunflower planes. I'll know if I've gone too far, which I don't think I have to worry about that because it goes 
way out there. So yeah, the world spawn was much, much bigger than I had anticipated. I was expecting world spawn to just be like right here. And that's why I started landscaping. So I really don't have to worry about world spawn. Um, yeah, looking really, really good. This is all getting leveled out and lowered. Uh, you can see how far over this way the, uh, the fence comes. And it does cut off right here. All right. So on the other side of that, if I leave, the chunks will be unloaded. All right. Oop, got to eat and run it. All right. So unloaded chunks when I'm not around, loaded chunks even if I'm not around. So, yeah, we've got a large area here to, uh, to do all kinds of builds. And I think the first build I want to make, once I've leveled everything out, uh, right here in this village, I want to make a sorting system because I want to start gathering massive amounts of resources. Let's take a real quick nap so we can go back outside. Massive amounts of resources because I'm going to need resources before I even think about building uh, an iron golem farm or a villager trading center. Uh, and I think what I want to do is that mountain right there was supposed to be my first original home home. But I think that now is going to be my first original uh, strip mine. Got to dig it out. A lot more digging. A lot more digging. All right. Well, that's going to do it for right now. Uh, just it, it's it's a little slow right now because it's just all prep work. Just got to do some digging. Just got to do some terraforming, some landscaping, and then I got to do some mining. Everybody's got to do a little bit of mining. Maybe upgrade uh, my weapons, armor, my tools, um, and who knows? I might start enchanting some tools and we can start digging a little faster. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Please leave a comment on some builds you would like to see me do in this, uh, this season. Uh, it might not be immediate. But definitely down the road, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, share with all your friends. Sharing is very important. And as always, I will see you next time.